Some scary moments for a Riverside County Sheriff's deputy after he came face to face with a pit bull and then accidentally shot himself. Investigators say that he fired in self-defense, but we're getting a different story from the dog's owner. NBC Force Tony Shin is live in Riverside now with video you'll only see on four. Tony? And Chuck, this all happened inside this yard you see behind me. This is where witnesses say a sheriff's deputy pulled out his gun when he saw that pit bull approach him. Sir, please back up. We arrived at the scene just as paramedics were loading the injured Riverside County Sheriff's deputy into an awaiting ambulance. Neighbors say it all began at about 2 this afternoon when they heard gunfire coming from Eucalyptus Avenue. We live at the corner right here and we heard just a gunshot um, go off. It was like one. I came outside and I saw all the cops and the ambulance and the firefighters. The deputy works in the court services department and neighbors say he was serving an eviction notice at this converted apartment home when he was approached by this pit bull after entering a fenced in yard. Large pit bull breed dog attacked the deputy. Uh, in defense of himself, he shot or fired one round at the dog and inadvertently struck himself in the leg. Jorge Rodriguez owns the dog, which is named Precious. He says his pit bull didn't attack. She was only barking as she approached the deputy. Well, the officer got scared and unfortunately pulled his gun and he shot himself. He was in pain, man. I feel sorry for the officer. In our video, you can see the deputy is conscious and sitting up with a medical wrap around his right knee. We also saw him arriving at Riverside Community Hospital, where he was taken into the emergency room. Investigators say his injuries aren't life-threatening. Hey, my dog's fine. He's going to be okay and, you know, get to move on to another day. Well, as you can see, Precious was not taken away by animal services, Rodriguez says, because it's because his dog was not running loose, so his dog was not illegal, illegally running loose on the street. That's the latest from here. Reporting live in Riverside, I'm Tony Shin, NBC4 News.